What's up guys, today we will be understanding what mixture of experts are. They were introduced in a paper called Adaptive Mixture of Local Experts. The paper was written in 1991. In this paper, the authors present a new supervised learning procedure for systems. So it's a procedure which is supposed to be for systems. The systems are composed of many separate networks. So there is a system and there are supposed to be many separate networks separate means that the networks are not interconnected and each network learns to handle a subset of the complete set of training cases what this means is suppose that the task at hand is an image classification task and there are a thousand classes as there are in image net in the usual deep learning setup there would be a, a model should learn to classify all these thousand classes. Now the author of this paper claim that in a mixture of experts system the SAT system would comprise of a number of networks let's say five systems and of the thousand classes of the thousand classes now the experts will now the experts themselves are supposed to choose a subset of these classes and become expert in those classification so probably the first model would learn to classify let's say 100 classes the second one may learn to classify 200 classes the third model may learn to classify let's say uh, 400 classes and so on so it's like they would divide the tasks among themselves and become an expert in each of the subset of the tasks rather than a, a model which is a, a very generalistic model is supposed to learn to classify all of the 1000 classes this diagram given in the same paper drives home the concept very beautifully so there's th this description written here which we'll read line by line so they say that each expert is a feed forward network okay. so each of these ex expert networks are feed forward networks right and all the experts receive the same input so this is the same in going to all of them and they have the same number of outputs what this means is they receive the same input and they have this the output of the same dimension so the dimension of this is same as this same as this now there is a gating network which is also a feed forward network and typically receive the same input as the expert networks they do not say anything about the architecture of the expert networks or gating networks this could be much more complex than the expert networks or could be simpler than them there is no information about them about that but essentially you would want your gating network to be uh, slightly faster than the expert networks so as to, just to take not a lot of compute anyway so they now go ahead to say that the gating network has normalized outputs so they say that the uh, output so this is p1 as written here p1 p2 p3 each for each network so they say output of corresponding to uh, an expert is actually normalized so it's something like uh, softmax so exponentiation of x of j because we are considered about the jth network and divided divided by the summation of e x i where i represents all of the networks that you, that we have in this case goes from 0 to 2 oh probably or goes from 
1, 2, 3 because we have 1, 2 and 3 networks. Till now we saw uh, two components of the uh, mixture of experts system. The, ex the experts themselves, then there is the gating network. Now the authors say that there is a third component as well called the selector. So they say that the selector acts like a multiple input single output stochastic switch. What essentially they mean is that according to the probabilities given by the gating network, the selector would output or would let only output of one expert pass through. So in this case P1 was P1 line is bolded. So that would that means that output from expert 1 is taken into consideration and P2 and P3 are ignored. So that's what the authors proposed in 1991. These days what we have is instead of a multiple input single output switch what we have is a switch that can take outputs from let's say top k experts so there's a third component as well selector the selector basically decides whether the system of experts is a soft one or a sparse one if the system is a soft one then the output o1 would be multiplied by probability p1 uh, or the output of expert i would be multiplied with the probability i and these would be summed and that is what is passed as, as an output here while in this sparse selector let's call it a sparse top k selector what we would do is select top k of the outputs using the getting networks probabilities suppose if the top k are p1 and p3 in that case what we would do is uh, we would do output of p1 divided by output of p1 plus p3 and this is p1 and p3 right this this would be multiplied with o3 this would be multiplied with o1 this would be summed and this would be the output so essentially it's a soft selector only on the top k values the important point to consider here is the selector is on top k so all the non top k values are removed then the softmax operation is applied then the probabilities are multiplied with the output of the top k uh, experts the respective experts and that output is summed and that is propagated ahead the sparse mixture of experts have the benefit of activating only selective experts this means that every input doesn't have to go through all the experts let's see a much recent paper by google to understand this in more detail in the switch transformers paper the authors say that mixture of experts model select different parameters for each incoming example and this results in a sparsely activated model it can have an outrageously large number of parameters but it incurs only a constant computational cost let's have a look at figure 2 of the paper here the authors have replaced the usual feed forward layer of the transformer block with a sparse switch ffn layer what this means is instead of having a feed forward network here they are just having mixture of experts network here so essentially they have 
a gating layer which they call the router and they have a couple of experts through which they can pass their pass the data now what is slightly confusing in the paper is that it seems that in the switch ffn layer it seems that there are two routers and two set of experts but that is not so what they have demonstrated is the state of the network for two different inputs so it's like this this for one this is the state of the block for one input and this is the state of the block for another input the authors want to demonstrate that for given different inputs the router selects different experts for the tensor to pass through for example in the if the input is the string more the router selects second expert while if the input is the strings parameters the router is selecting the first expert this is this is what could happen if we have to select top one experts now suppose if we want to select top two experts then what would happen is uh, for the given string more the router is outputting these kind of probabilities so if we want to select only top two we would be removing these two then we would apply softmax on these two and then uh, suppose the the output is the output would be p1 p2 and the output of the experts are o1 o2 o3 and o4 and the final output is o in this case o would be p1 sorry, uh, p1 multiplied by o1 plus p2 multiplied by o2 in this case we do not even need to activate experts f3 and f4 this gives us a very good opportunity to scale the system horizontally instead of vertically what this would mean is that instead of keeping all the experts in a single machine we can keep them on different machines so for example if we keep f1 f2 f3 and f4 all on different machines and there is a router which decides that a given input should only be passed through f1 and f3 in that case the machines having f2 and f4 need not even be disturbed and can be left to do different tasks or even uh, process different input this also means faster inference compared to a dense model with similar number of parameters this scaling out strategy enabled researchers from google to scale up mixture of experts model to 600 billions i think this paper was called g shard and the paper which we are currently reading scales up the mixture of models to 1.6 trillion parameters in the next video we'll see how we can code the mixture of experts model from scratch